Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this item sorter. Now you might be confused, we've just got an innocent toilet here. What is this actually doing? Well, it's a hidden item sorter. So people wouldn't expect this. They'd look at this and they're thinking that this is going nowhere. It's simply just a hopper. But if I go ahead, I'm going to open up the toilet here and uh, you could do your business or some sort. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw all these items in my inventory here into this hopper. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to get sorted. So as you can see, they're all gone from this hopper here. It's, it's quite the magic. But if I go down this ladder here into the secret room, the items are actually being sorted underneath. So you wouldn't expect this when you see a toilet like that. But we'll go down here. As you can see, a bunch of diamonds have gone into here. Um, the iron ingots have gone into this chest, the gold ingots have gone into this one, and all the items that don't get filtered just get placed into this chest at the end here. Now one last thing I've got to mention is it is expandable, so if you're looking to add more than three chests here, then you can. So I'll show you later in the tutorial how you can do that. So I'm going to show you guys how you can build this now. So the materials that you are going to need is four redstone dust, two redstone torches, two redstone repeaters, two redstone comparators, 11 hoppers, one lever, one iron trap door, two normal chests, one trapped chest, one minecart with hopper, two blocks of quartz, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we are going to do is build the toilet part to this. So what we need to do is get out our two blocks of quartz here. We're going to need to use the iron trap door. So we're going to place a two high pillar with the quartz there. We're going to get a hopper, place it in front of this bottom quartz here with the funnel going into it. Place your iron trap door on the top of the hopper there. And then get your lever, place it on the left side here and we are ready to go. So that's just the toilet. What we've got to do now is actually build the item sorter. So this is where it's going to get a little bit trickier. Now it's best to build the toilet first. So you'd simply build it in your house and then you know where you actually got to build the sorting system. So let's go ahead and let's dig out a hole for the sorting system now. So we need to dig a four wide by five long by five deep hole. And what you want to do is actually come in front of your toilet here. So start right at this block here, dig one down and then dig three to the right here. So one, two, three. Then we're gonna go five towards the back here. So we've already got one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then go to the left here until you get in line with the start and then just dig out those blocks underneath. Dig out the ones in the center and then simply dig this hole down four more layers. Now come to this front right corner here and what we're going to do is get our blocks of choice. We're going to place one down in the corner here, then two to the left. On this first one we placed, make sure you place your one normal chest, then trap chest, and then normal. Behind each of the chests we're going to place a hopper going into it, so crouch, then right click the back of each of them. Now under each hopper we need to place a redstone torch, so we're going to go under the hopper here, then back one, so place three blocks down like that, then you want to get out your redstone torches, we're just going to dig out this block right here. You want to get your two redstone torches and place it on these first two blocks here, the last one is for uh, items that don't get matched and just go into a, a miscellaneous chest, so we don't have to worry about placing a torch there. Really, we don't need this block at the end here, so you can get rid of that. On top of these blocks which the red redstone torches are on, place a block on top. We're then going to place a redstone comparator on top of these blocks here, facing towards the back. In front of these blocks, place two more blocks of your choice, then go down a block like that. Place your four redstone on top of these blocks here. And then in this gap here, you want to place a redstone repeater coming out of this block here and going into this one which the torch is on. Do that on the other side as well, so that there. 
make sure it stays on the default delay. We're temporarily going to place two blocks on top of these first two chests here, then place a hopper which goes into the back of these blocks and then you can just destroy these. On top of this end hopper here, simply just place one going down into it so the funnel should face downwards while these two should be facing forwards and not going directly down. At the end here, place another one on top with the funnel going down. Then we're going to lead our remaining three till it's under this hopper here. So one, two, three. And you should notice all, notice all the funnels are pointing in the same direction until this last one and this directly goes down and into that chest there. Now head back up to the top and what we're going to do now is place our minecart with the hopper. So to place the minecart with the hopper, you're going to need to get some extra materials. Now I didn't include this on the list because they're only temporarily used. So you're going to need to get one normal rail, one normal piston, a power source such as a block of redstone, and then just an inventory block such as a furnace. So what you need to do is go to the left of this hopper here, dig out this block, place your furnace or whatever down in there. You want to get your normal rail, place it on top of this hopper down here under that one. Place your minecart on top and then you simply want to break the rail below it so you should be able to select it and then just break that. We're going to get a block which would most likely be the block you're using for your floor. I'm just going to use this dirt block here. Place that to the right of the minecart hopper, so crouch then right click. We're going to place our piston here on top of this hopper here, facing into this block here. So when you push it, it's going to push the block into the hopper here. So power the or power the piston now I mean. And then we can destroy that. And then destroy the piston. And then you can destroy this furnace over here and then you could replace this with your floor material. Now that is pretty much it. All we've got to do now is configure it then afterwards I'm going to show you guys how you can expand this. So what we're going to need to have to configure this is you're going to need to grab an anvil. You're going to need 64 blocks of your choice. I've just gotten 64 cobblestone and then you're going to need two of the items um, that you basically want to filter out. Now these items have to be able to stack up to 64, otherwise it won't work. So you can't have stuff like buckets or tools in this sorting system. So let's go ahead, let's place down an anvil right now. And what you want to do is rename your cobblestone or your blocks to a random string of characters. So just literally spam a bunch of... Um, characters in there. Now why we're doing this is basically if someone was to throw cobblestone into the system it's not going to ruin it. They would have to have a cobblestone block named exactly this and I highly doubt they would. So let's go down into the system here and what we're going to do is open these first two hoppers here in the middle. So in this first one here let's just get out that rail that was probably from before. What you want to do is chuck in the two items that you want to filter out then in the remaining slots of the hopper here, place five of the item in each slot, or five of the cobblestone in each slot. Then do that for the next one here. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. And it's simple as that, so all diamonds will go down into this chest here. All iron ingots will go down to this chest here and then all remaining items that don't get filtered out will simply go into this end chest. Now just to prove that that cobblestone won't get caught up in the system, so as you can see these are actually two different items even though they're both cobblestone. If I throw that into the toilet there it will just end up in this end chest here so it doesn't get, so this cobblestone here doesn't pick up this cobblestone. But now if I actually threw in an iron ingot and a diamond, let's open this up properly, throw that in, that should go into the iron chest and that one should go into the diamond and let's take a look right now. Oh, as you can see, this is what happens initially. Um, there'll be one stuck in this bottom hopper here but once you've done that at least once, so let's throw in another one. 
the items will then go into the chest. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can expand this and it is very simple. So what we're going to do is simply dig out this wall here. So dig that down so you get down to exactly the same level we did before. We're going to destroy, oh let's do that one more time. We're going to destroy this column of materials here, so these hoppers, this chest and that block. We're then going to copy this here exactly the same. So what we need to do, two blocks there, we're going to have our redstone repeater, two blocks above, redstone, redstone, comparator. Here we're going to place a block, then make sure you place the right chest next to each other. So this one here is a trap chest. We instead want to place a chest here so it doesn't connect up. We're going to get a redstone torch, place it there, hopper going into the back of the chest there, block temporarily there, hopper going into the back of it, and then we're going to place that other chest, or the basically the one that captures all um, of the unfiltered items. Hopper at the back two hoppers on top with the funnels going downwards and then finally one going into there and you'll notice that all the funnels are leading to that one chest at the end there. Then simply configure the items that you want to go in there. I'm not going to do it again, I just showed you guys how to do it. Now you can do this for as long as you like, as long as the items that you are filtering out can stack up to 64. There's probably a limited amount of items that you can do but for the majority of items um, that's quite a lot. Now at that point in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works and it's very simple. So when we throw an item into this hopper here, it goes into it, then this um, minecart with hopper here actually pulls that out. Now the cool thing about this is you can't actually see that the, the minecart with hopper is below there. So it looks like this hopper goes nowhere and this is the trick with people. Um, they won't actually know that this actually goes into a sorting system um, and there's like a secret room under below. But yeah, it will pull out the items, then the hopper below the minecart here will pull the items out of that. It will go through these hoppers here and it's going to check if it can get pulled down. So in here we've got two diamond and we've got these slots here filled up with five cobblestone renamed to a random string of characters. When, one, uh, when a diamond passes over here, if it's a diamond it's going to get pulled down into here. Now, once there's one diamond in this first slot here, it's actually going to send out a signal strength of two from this comparator here. So it's going to power this redstone here, which then powers that repeater, unpowering this torch here. And this simply lets one of the items from this um, hopper here go down into the hopper below. So it will pull one down, so it will reset back to this state that you see right now. So there might be three in there. But because there's too many in there, it's going to pull one down below and it's going to go back to two. So this does it for all of them. So if it doesn't go into the diamonds, it's going to check for this next one. If it's an iron ingot, um, then this one, I haven't done that. But if none of them match, it's simply just going to go down to this remaining or to this end chest here. So it's really simple how it works. Now you can go ahead and cover this up now. Now obviously what you would do as well is actually build a room down below so you can actually see the chests. So if I was to uh, be building this on my survival world, I would probably be building a room below so I can um, access these chests here. Also a good um, thing to do is put item frames on the front of the chests. So if I go down below here, put item frames on the front, then put the items that are going into it. So this one here is the diamond, so I'd put diamond on the front of that. This one here is the iron, um, haven't configured that one but then this last one would be like miscellaneous so I might put like a, a bucket on there for kind of like trash items, I don't know. And then you would cover this up and you'd have like a secret room underneath. Now that's going to end off this tutorial today, if you guys enjoyed make sure you hit that like button below, if you have any ideas for redstone tutorials let me know down in the comments. Now before I do end this off completely, if you are from Australia, I'm going to be doing an official meetup at the end of the year, so I'm going to the convention known as PAX in Melbourne. Now you don't actually need a ticket to see me, I'm going to be doing it outside the exhibition centre. So if you've always wanted to meet me, 
I'll put a link down below where you can find out more details of when the event is happening. It's not happening for a while, it's going to be in November. So you've got some quite some time to think about it. I just thought I would let you know, give you an idea. But anyway, that's going to end off. I will see you guys later. Bye.